Bienvenidos a Joan Mon Games. Hoy os traigo la demo del Roy and the Aliens. Os dejaré un enlace en la descripción, pues si os la queréis descargar gratis y empezamos. As a journalist, you're used to writing about events after they've already happened. You conduct interviews, do research, and work really long hours to connect the dots. But as an outsider, it's very rare that you get a chance to become part of a story, to see it unravel before your eyes. And sometimes, what you find makes it all worth it and changes your life forever. Here's my story about how I met Elroy and the aliens. A hamster? I waited 18 years, and you bring me a hamster? Uh, it wasn't easy to catch, boss. Oh, very well. Prepare test subject Alpha. Preparing test subject Alpha! Soon, my dear. Rats! I overslept! Again! Oh, that's probably the reporter from Slope City News. I'm coming! I should get the door. My apartment key. I should unlock the door first. Hi! I'm Peggy Wolf from Slope City News. Elroy DeLuna? Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, come on in. Thanks for coming here on a Sunday. No problem. I wanted to get my article in before we go to print tomorrow. Shall we get started? Sure. Can you tell me a little bit about your project? I'm building a rocket. A rocket? Yes. The first commercial rocket that can take off, reach the atmosphere, and return to land in the same spot. Oh, cool. You mentioned you had a prototype? Yeah, I just need to make some uh, last-minute adjustments. It'll only take a minute. Would you mind waiting here? Sure. Uh, please, make yourself at home. Shoot! This is my one chance to let the world know about the DDL-3000. I wanted to finish it last night, but obviously fell asleep. I'd better hurry upstairs and get it ready. I should focus on my rocket. Miss Wolf is waiting. The propulsion module. Fuel goes in, blazing speed comes out. My good old Vax mainframe. I had to pawn the screen and keyboard so I could afford the rocket fuel. Eh, I'll buy them back as soon as I get my funding. My good old... Ooh, cozy. Step one, install the propulsion module. Step two, attach the guidance module. Step three, fuel up the rocket. Step four, profit.
The Legend of the Hani Pentagon by Diego de Luna, my dad. A bunch of engineering books. I've read all of them twice, at least. The remote control for my rocket. The Slope City Chronicle. We've been getting this paper for over 20 years. Ah, the broom I borrowed from Mrs. Kandinsky. The guidance module for my rocket. I get 55 channels, including the science program, engineering 24-7, and NASA TV. Best rocket fuel you can get, at least in Slope City. Whoops, the spout fell off. I'll have to reattach it. Aha, the spout that fell off the fuel canister. Hmm, is that a crow or a magpie? The magnification on this thing is incredible. If I was a creep, I could spy on pretty much anyone from up here. A glorified fuel tank. There. Now I can fill up the rocket without spilling my precious fuel. I should install all the parts before fueling up the rocket. Fits perfectly. Nice, the DDL-3000 fully assembled. All it needs now is some fuel. My pride and joy, ready for action. Miss Wolf, hello? It's ready! I'm coming. May I present the DDL-3000? It's... wow. It's very... yellow. Wait till you see her fly. Before we start, can I ask you a few questions? Sure. So, your full name is Elroy De Luna, right? Yeah. Son of Diego De Luna, the famous archaeologist? Yeah. Author of The Legend of the Hani Pentagon? Yeah. He spent a lot of time on that book. Dr. DeLuna went missing in 1975, right? Yeah, well, he went on an expedition and never came back. Is it true that he was working with Mayor Wanderbrust at the time? I think he was, yeah. I was five years old, you know? Wasn't your dad looking for the Hani Pentagon? Yeah, he talked about it all the time. But what if he actually found it? <sighs> I don't know. I haven't really thought about that in a long time. Hey, do, do you want to see my project or not? Sorry. Yeah, please, go ahead. Let me just use the remote so I can start the launch. Okay, everything is ready. Follow me. We need to take cover. For 
the love of... Was... that it? No. The circuit board got fried for some reason. Oh. Should I come back later? No, no, no. Just give me ten minutes and I'll get a new one. All right. Do you mind if I check out the telescope in the meantime? Is that a Telefire D2? D3, actually. I just got it last week. Go ahead. Awesome. Thanks. I should hurry to Sierra's junkyard to get a new circuit board. <sighs> I really hope she's there. Huh. There's that strange sound again. I think it's coming from the ceiling. I'll check it out after I've shown the reporter the DDL-3000. I've been hearing this for the last couple of days. I think it's coming from the ceiling. It's probably just interference or something. Mrs. Kadinsky, my neighbor. I like her. Although she can get a little nosy sometimes. Morning, Elroy. What are you doing up so early? A reporter from Slope City News is doing an interview with me. Oh, that girl who was poking around here before. Yeah. I'm getting interviewed for the Slope City Chronicle. Reporters these days, they're getting younger and younger. Is it about that rocket of yours? Yeah, I'm trying to get the word out so I have a better chance of getting some funding. That's exciting. So, why are you out here chatting with me instead of in there doing your interview? To be honest, I'm kind of nervous. Remember what happened last time? Don't dwell on the past, kid. Just forget about that old hag's house. A little explosion never hurt anyone. <laughs> Only because Mrs. Simmons wasn't home that evening. I quit yammering. Look at me. I could have been Mrs. Mayor now. And do you see me complaining? Gotta go. Bye. Yeah, yeah. The hair salon is closed today. They still owe me a free haircut after I fixed their helmet dryer last week. Filled to the brim with pizza boxes and takeout cartons. At least I managed to get rid of them all before Peggy arrived. Sierra! Are you there? Darn it. She must be coding again. In the zone, she calls it. Ah, guess I'll have to figure out how to open this myself. It says, busy coding, do not disturb. Sorry, Sierra. This is an emergency. I don't understand why Sierra can't change this to a simple lock. truck tire. Pretty heavy.
An old tire won't do any good here. It's pretty heavy, though. Might be useful. An old tire won't do any good here. It's pretty heavy, though. Might be useful. I don't understand. An old tire. An old. I should be careful with the broom. It's not mine. I don't understand. What's a game? I don't. I don't know why Sierra doesn't just install a simple gate. I'm sure Sierra won't mind if I, um, borrow this. A good old bucket with a hole in it. Fake Armandi bags. The police sometimes seize fakes, but I have no idea how they end up here. A fake Armandi purse. There are many uses for a knockoff fancy purse, but this is not one of them. It looks like it's overheating, and the gas is running a little low. It's overheating. Sierra's gonna have trouble with this at some point. Jeez, what now? Oh, hey, it's you. What's up, Elroy? I was knocking. Duh. You know I'm totally oblivious to the world when I'm coding. A quite an elaborate lock you've got there. Pretty cool, right? Keeps all the halfwits out. Glad to learn I'm not one of those. Oh, <laughs> wow. Haha. <laughs> Very funny. Good job understanding how clocks work. So, what can I do for you? You know the rocket I've been working on? You mean that we've been working on? If I remember correctly, I wrote the firmware for it. All right, no need to nitpick, but yeah. Well, the FR-128 circuit board is fried. What do you mean, fried? Did you set the CMOS jumper exactly the way I told you? Um, CMOS jumper? Jeez. Man, you're supposed to be the hardware guy. I was wondering if you had a replacement. I only have an FR-512. It'll work just as well, but using that much memory is total overkill for what you're trying to do. Not to mention a huge waste of money. I promise I'll take good care of it, and I'll set the DDoS jumper. CMOS jumper. Don't screw it up this time. All right, all right, got it. Thanks, Sierra. The things I do for my friends. Later. Sierra, do you mind if I borrow this hose for a bit? Uh-huh. I guess that means it's fine. We used to siphon gas from cars using this hose. No way this will work. These cars have been... These cars have been here. These cars have been here for decades. Sierra emptied the gas tanks a long time ago. 
This thing powers Sierra's computer rig. It looks like it's overheating, and the gas is running a little low. Here we go. Whoops, almost forgot again. CMOS jumper set and ready to go. There. Oh look, a bird. It seems to really like your rocket. All right, everything's ready for launch. Oh no, 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 the bird might get hurt. We need to find a way to make it leave first. Shoo, shoo. See, it won't listen. Let me try. Shoo. Hmm. What about the chimney? Maybe we could light a fire? And smoke it out? Yeah, but gently? Uh, I guess we can try. I don't want to hurt you, little... Shoo, shoo! Fire might be able to convince the bird up there to leave my rocket alone. The canister's empty. Besides, that's dangerous in an enclosed space. I don't have another... Ah, there. Paper will catch fire faster than a log. I got this laser cutter from Sierra's junkyard. It's missing a diamond, though. My dad always used to say pressure makes diamonds. Interesting, I... There are many... I should be... I don't have... I got this... My dad... My good old Vax main... I ha... Eh. Perry Street. These are absolutely yummy. I lost 15 pounds after switching to a Wonder Shake only diet. An old graystone I tried to fix up. Turned out it was useless, so I stripped it for spare parts. Too bad. Could have really used some help around here. Step one install. 
Step one. These are absolutely... Perry Street. I'll save this soon. I got this lip. My dad always. Huh. A fire need. A fake Armand. I borrowed this broom from Mrs. Kandinsky. She would. Kill me if I destroyed it. A fire needs a fire needs kindling, something to burn, and oxygen. A fire needs kindling, something to burn, and oxygen. Hi again, Mrs. Kandinsky. Hi. <laughs> Didn't you say you'd quit smoking? The prices they charge for cigarettes today. I'm never buying another pack again. Just finishing my duty-free stash from the old airline days. I have just 73 cartons left. Then I'm done for sure. Could I borrow your matches for a while? You mean like you borrowed my broom? I haven't seen it in months. All right, sorry. I'll get it back to you soon, I promise. You better. Here, you can keep them. I have plenty. Thanks. I might still need it. I borrowed this broom from Mrs. Kandinsky. She would kill me if I destroyed it. Oh, poor guy. Sorry, little fella. Science comes first. There. I think we're ready, Miss Wolf. Remember, the launch is the easy part. What's really impressive is the landing. We should get to safety. Follow me. Preparing for launch. Five, four, three, two, one. Launch it! Are you okay? That was quite a landing. Haha, <sighs> very funny. Something must have gone wrong with the controls. 
I saw some kind of electrical discharge. Maybe that had something to do with it? <sighs> I'd better go check the damage. Brace yourself. It's not pretty. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's ruined. Nine months. And all my savings. I'll never get funding now. Sorry about your roof. And your rocket. Maybe you can still save part of it? <sighs> I need to go up and check. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. I hope it still works. <sighs> Let me try and pull it out. Let's see. Oh, my. It's completely destroyed. Months of hard work for nothing. The magnification on this thing is incredible. If I was a creep, I could spy on pretty much anyone from up here. It's completely destroyed. Oh, great. But wait, what's that glowing thing down there? Maybe I can see it better from downstairs. Holy cow, what a mess! But hey, what's that glowing thing up there? Is that what's been making the noise? Holy cow, what a mess! But hey, is that what's been making the noise? I think we scared off that... My good old Vax mainframe. I was hoping to get the screen and... I guess... I got this laser... My dad always used to say pressure makes diamonds. Wait, I want to check that thing in the ceiling first. Great. But wait, what's that glowing thing down there? Maybe I can see it better from downstairs. Radio or something? Someone must have hidden it a long time ago. Nobody did any fixing up there since my dad disappeared until now. Hey, look! There's some kind of button in the middle. Something's happening. Holy cow. Is that who I think it is? Wait, is this thing on? Sayak. All right. Let's do this. Dad! Hello, son. You must be wondering where I am. I have no idea how long this message will take to get to you. Or how long it's been for you. Eighteen years. I don't think he can hear you. I'm losing all sense of time here. You remember the story about the Hani Pentagon I used to tell you at bedtime? It turns out, it's all true. I knew it. There's a whole new world out here, son. My business partner, Cyril Wonderbrust, trapped me here. What? He took something back with him. Something dangerous. I need you to get help and come find me. You'll need the gate crystal. If I know Cyril as well as I think, he'll keep it close. 
Once you have the crystal, find the Hani Pentagon. Check my book for clues. I love you, son. I never wanted this to happen, but I'm stuck here. And you're my only hope. Oh my god. Do you realize what this means? All these years, everyone's been saying the Hani Pentagon is just a legend. I have to tell my boss. This is gonna be the story of the decade. Dad? He's... alive? Yeah, and we are going to find him. Bueno, pues hasta aquí. Gracias por ver el vídeo. 